हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑन माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित इन प्रीवियस टू लेक्चर्स ऑन पार्सल डेरिवेटिव्स वी हैव डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट पार्सल डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड ऑर्डर आल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट पार्सल डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ ऑर्डर ग्रेटर देन टू इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस सम मोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन पार्सल डेरीवेटिव सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन we are given that u is a function of three variables x y and z and we are asked to find out these two sum first one is sum of three partial derivatives of first order second sum is sum of three partial derivatives of second order so let's start first we calculate partial derivatives which are required for one and two so given function is u equal to x square into y plus y square into z plus z square into x. So first we find out del u by del x. So for del u by del x we will consider y and z as constant. So in first term y is constant and derivative of x square is 2x. In second term there is no x term so second term becomes constant therefore its derivative is 0. In third term, z square is constant and derivative of x is 1. And this we can rewrite as 2xy plus z square. Now we differentiate this function partially with respect to y while considering x and z as constant. So in first term, x square is constant, derivative of y is 1. Here z is constant, derivative of y square is 2y plus there is no y here. So derivative of z square into x is 0 with respect to y. And this we can rewrite as x square plus 2yz. Now we differentiate with respect to z partially considering x and y is constant. So in first term there is no z. Therefore derivative of x square into y is 0 with respect to z. In second term y square is constant. Derivative of z is 1. In third term, x is constant, derivative of z square is 2z. So this is equal to y square plus 2xz. Now we calculate second order partial derivatives. So del square u by del x square that is equal to partial derivative of del u by del x with respect to x. So here we put value of del u by del x from 1 which is 2xy plus z square and we consider y and z as constant because we are differentiating with respect to x. So here 2y is constant, derivative of x is 1 and derivative of z square is 0. So this is 2y. Similarly del square u by del y square is del by del y of del u by del y. Del by del y and del u by del y is x square plus 2yz that we substitute from equation number 2 and here we are differentiating with respect to y so we consider x and z as constant therefore derivative of x square is 0 in second term 2z is constant derivative of y is 1 so this is 2z third partial derivative is del square u by del z square which is partial derivative of del u by del z with respect to z and del u by del z is y square plus 2xz and here we consider y and x as constant because differentiation is with respect to z so derivative of y square is 0 plus 2x is constant derivative of z is 1 so this is 2x now to find out first sum we add equations 1, 2 and 3. So addition of left hand side will be del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z. That will be equal to addition of these three right hand sides of 1, 2 and 3. So this right hand side can be written as x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2xz. And this is nothing but formula for square of x plus y plus z. So the sum of first order partial derivatives is nothing but square of x plus y plus z. 
similarly we take addition of 4 5 and 6 and we obtain this sum del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square plus del square u by del z square that is equal to 2 times y plus 2 times z plus 2 times x and this we can rewrite as 2 times x plus y plus z so we are able to find out these two using just the definition of partial derivatives we consider example number 2 given that u into x plus y equal to x square plus y square and we have to prove this one square of del u by del x minus del u by del y equal to 4 times 1 minus del u by del x minus del u by del y so here we can see we are given partial derivatives of u with respect to x and y so from this we can have the idea that u is dependent variable and x is independent variable because we are having partial derivatives of u with respect to x and y that means here we have to consider u as a function of x and y so from this we will find out our function u in terms of x and y and then we will find out partial derivatives of u with respect to x and y and then we will try to prove this equality so given equation is u times x plus y equal to x square plus y square that we can rewrite as u equal to x square plus y square divided by x plus y and first we differentiate u with respect to x so here numerator and denominator both contains x y is constant but numerator and denominator are containing x therefore we have function of x as well as function of x in the denominator numerator and denominator are both functions of x if we consider y as constant then here uh, we have this type of thing u equal to fx over gx if we consider y as constant then this is function of x and this is also function of x so we recall the formula for division if we have two functions in the division we are having this formula for ordinary derivatives denominator as it is derivative of numerator minus numerator as it is derivative of denominator and here we have square of denominator so we apply this formula for this uh, del u by del x so in the denominator we write down square of denominator which is x plus y now denominator as it is that is x plus y as it is into derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x which is 2x plus 0 because we will consider y as constant minus numerator as it is that is x square plus y square into derivative of denominator with respect to x so which is 1 plus 0 and this we can simplify by multiplying this bracket with 2x that is 2x square plus 2xy minus x square minus y square that is nothing but x square plus 2xy minus y square divided by x plus y whole square Similarly, we find out partial derivative of this function with respect to y using division rule because numerator and denominator both contains y also. So here if we consider del u by del y then this is division of two functions of y considering x as constant. So in the denominator we write down square of x plus y now x plus y as it is into derivative of x square plus y square with respect to y that is 0 plus 2y minus numerator as it is that is x square plus y square into derivative of x plus y with respect to y which is 1 and this we can rewrite as 2xy plus 2y square minus x square minus y square 
and this is nothing but 2y square minus y square which is y square plus 2xy minus x square. Now we have observe left hand side it is square of difference of these two partial derivatives. So first we take difference of 1 and 2 that is if we take subtraction of equation number 2 from 1 left hand side is del u by del x minus del u by del y equal to difference of these two right hand side. So we can see 1 upon x plus y square is common. So we can write this as in the denominator x plus y whole square. In the numerator we have x square plus 2xy minus y square minus y square plus 2xy minus x square. So if we take negative sign inside here we have minus y square minus 2xy plus x square and this is going to be 2x square minus 2y square. This 2xy will cancel out. And if we take 2 common we have 2 times x square minus y square over x plus y whole square. x square minus y square is nothing but x minus y into x plus y. So 1 x plus y will cancel out and we are having 2 times x minus y upon x plus y. But left hand side is square of this difference. So if we take square on both sides we have left hand side equal to 4 times x minus y square over x plus y square. So we give this number 3. Now right hand side is 4 times 1 minus del u by del x minus del u by del y. So first we find out this quantity and then we will multiply with 4. So this we can rewrite as 1 minus sum of these two partial derivatives. And we are having those two partial derivatives in 1 and 2. If we take sum of these two, we have in the denominator we will have x plus y square. And here we will have x square plus 2xy minus y square plus y square plus 2xy minus x square. So using these two values, uh, we have this term equal to this expression. So here we can observe that y square and y square will cancel out. Similarly, x square will cancel out and we are having 2xy plus 2xy. That is 4xy divided by x plus y whole square. So this we can rewrite as x plus y whole square minus 4xy. If we expand this, it is x square plus 2xy plus y square minus 4xy. And this we can write as because 2xy minus 4xy is minus 2xy. So we have x square minus 2xy plus y square. Now this is nothing but square of x minus y. So this is left hand uh, right hand side. Now we multiply both sides with 4. So we have 4 times 1 minus del u by del x minus del u by del y equal to 4 times x minus y square divided by x plus y square. So we can observe equation number 3 and 4. Both are same. Right hand side is same. Therefore from 3 and 4 we can say that we have proved a given result for given function. Now before going for next example uh, we can observe one thing here or before that uh, we find we understand one definition or we can consider it as a remark symmetrical function. Suppose we have function of two variables x and y and if we interchange a role of x and y, if we replace x by y and y by x and if function does not change for all x, y, if u, x, y equal to u, y, x for all x, y, then this type of function is called symmetrical function for example suppose we have u x y equal to x square plus y square so if we replace 
x by y and y by x we are having y square plus x square which is nothing but u x y so this x square plus y square is symmetrical function but if I have negative sign say x square minus y square then this is not equal to u x y for all x y so this function is not symmetrical so symmetrical function is if u x y equal to u y x for all x y then u is symmetrical function of x and y so you can observe this function given function our function is u equal to x square plus y square over x plus y so if we interchange rule of x and y uh, we have y square plus x square divided by y plus x and if we, if we rewrite this we will obtain given function u x y so this is true for all x y if we interchange role of x and y function does not change or if we replace x by y and y by x function does not change so whenever we have this type of symmetrical function uh, we can write down the derivatives directly after calculating one derivative uh, we can write down another derivative directly without doing calculations here u is symmetrical therefore if we have del u by del x we can write del u by del y from del u by del x by replacing x by y and y by x so you can see i am replacing x by y and y by x everywhere in del u by del x and you can observe with del u by del y which we have calculated both are same so if we are given symmetrical function if we wish we don't have to calculate this we can just write down that del u by del x is given by this therefore del u by del y is obtained by replacing x by y and y by x because u is symmetrical in x and y so whenever we will have symmetrical function of this type we will calculate only one derivative and second derivative will be written by replacing x by y and y by x and we will mention that given function is symmetrical so this is all about today's session in the next uh, lecture we will discuss some more examples on partial derivatives i hope you like this lecture thank you very much